the huge factory that makes Snickers chocolate. From raw materials to the final bar and bark on an adventure that will transport you to the heart of the massive plant that produces the world famous Snickers chocolate bar. Every day, millions of these mouth-watering bars find their way into your hands thanks to a procedure that is both precise and automated using only high quality ingredients. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoy discovering the recipes for your favorite snacks. An international sensation, Snickers is more than simply a chocolate bar. In 1930, Mars Inc. introduced Snickers to the market. Its distinctive blend of crunchy peanuts, silky caramel, chewy nougat, and decadent milk chocolate made it an instant hit. On the other hand, have you ever considered the process by which all of these parts are integrated into a single flawless bar? This chocolate wonder is made in a massive factory and we'll show you every step of the process today. Where the Snickers story begins, finding the ingredients. The ingredients for every Snickers bar are hand-picked. Premium milk chocolate, rich caramel, soft nougat, and high-quality peanuts are the foundation of a Snickers bar's flavor. Despite the high volume of these ingredients, they are subject to rigorous quality control inspections at the facility before they are used to manufacture the bar. The peanuts are the source of the famous crunchiness of Snickers. The peanuts are gathered from reliable farms, then shelled and transported to the processing plant. They are subjected to a rigorous quality inspection before usage to guarantee they are up to the mark of the brand. The next step is a perfectly executed roast, which brings out their natural sweetness and gives them their distinctive crunch. The following step in the production process involves chopping and preparing these peanuts. Snickers caramel is a trifecta of sugar, dairy, and butter. To make the thick elastic caramel that will cover the nougat layer, the ingredients are cooked to precise temperatures in big vats. Ensuring the caramel reaches the ideal texture, pliable enough to chew yet sturdy enough to retain its form, relies on precisely controlling the heat. Snickers nougat coating is their foundation. It is prepared by whisking egg whites, honey, and sugar until the mixture reaches a peak of lightness and frothy consistency. To give the nougat its distinctive sweet flavor that goes well with the other layers, flavorings like vanilla are added to it. After it's done, it's cooled and then sliced into slabs. Using a combination of cocoa beans, milk, sugar, and cocoa butter, the chocolate covering of Snickers bars is made. Chocolate gets its desired texture and shine through the tempering process. To achieve a glossy sheen and ensure that the chocolate melts smoothly when consumed, tempering is an essential step. Snickers wouldn't be the same without any of these components. And the more we go through the process, the more we realize how much work goes into making this bar. Establishing the groundwork for nougat layer production. At its core, every Snickers bar is nougat. The recipe calls for big industrial mixers to heat corn syrup, sugar, and water. The egg whites are beaten into the batter while it cooks, making it light and airy. This method guarantees a hard yet pliable nougat, which serves as a base for the subsequent layers. Long sheets of nougat are rolled out once it has been completely beaten. Next, specialized cutting machines are used to cut the sheets into pieces that are bar-sized. Each Snickers bar gets the exact same amount of nougat because of how precisely this phase is executed. Machines also regulate the nougat's thickness to keep it consistent. Even something as basic as a nougat base can be made using such exact gear. It's incredible. Making the caramel layer, enhancing the sugar content. To make the caramel layer, heat the milk, butter, and sugar to precise degrees. Rich golden caramel, for which Snickers is famous, is made by slowly melting sugar and adding butter and milk. To avoid caramel that is either too soft or too hard, the temperature must be carefully maintained. As the caramel cooks on a conveyor belt, it is drizzled over the nougat layer. The caramel needs not set before it can be evenly coated, thus this process needs to be done swiftly. The caramel coating on each nougat piece is exactly the right amount of stickiness, not too much, not too little. An essential part of eating Snickers is this stage, because it's where the crunchy peanuts meet the sweet caramel. The peanuts used to make Snickers bars are hand-picked, roasted, and chopped to perfection so that they have the perfect crunch. Roasting the peanuts in massive revolving ovens involves quality checks. 
Their flavor is brought out by roasting, which gives them a deep, nutty flavor. Before being put atop the caramel, the roasted peanuts are diced into uniform pieces. To maintain a consistent and delicious crunch in every bar, the peanut pieces must be of an appropriate size and consistency. Peanuts are uniformly scattered across the caramel layer as they fall across it. Even something as seemingly simple as mixing peanuts into a chocolate bar requires a great deal of attention to detail, as you can see below. Bars are now ready for final assembly as they travel down the manufacturing line, with the nougat, caramel, and peanuts stacked. Prior to the bars being coated with chocolate, the enrobing process involves using high-speed machinery to guarantee that the layers are precisely packed. Currently, quality control is being ensured by having sensors and cameras watch each bar. The line is immediately emptied of any bar that does not conform to the specified dimensions, forms, or weights. This meticulous process guarantees that each and every Snickers bar tastes excellent. Before we get into the chocolate enrobing process, the chocolate covering of a Snickers bar is probably the most recognizable feature. A technique known as enrobing allows the bars to pass through a layer of melted chocolate. A thick coating of delicious milk chocolate encases the nougat, caramel, and peanuts in the bars, which are coated in melted chocolate. The bars are covered and then cooled in a tunnel so the chocolate can solidify. To avoid any dullness or cracking, the cooling process is carefully regulated. The shiny surface and hard, smooth texture that make the Snickers bar snap when bit into them are achieved in this process. Even something as seemingly easy as dipping a bar into chocolate necessitates such exactitude and control. If you feel the same way, then you should subscribe to our channel so you may continue to discover the story of how your favorite foods are made. The chocolate coating on the Snickers bars must be allowed to cool and solidify before serving. To make sure the chocolate hardens evenly without touching the layers below, the bars pass through a network of cooling tunnels that progressively lower the temperature. Each bar can be precisely cooled to the perfect temperature before packaging thanks to these lengthy and accurate cooling tunnels. Each and every Snickers bar maintains its shape and flavor thanks to this meticulous technique. The last step is to wrap and box the bars. The freshness of each bar is guaranteed by the high-speed wrapping machines that seal them individually. Machines check the bars for quality as they roll down the conveyor belt, making sure there are no flaws. The bars are subsequently packaged and ready for transport. Once they leave the factory, they will be sent all over the world, stopping at supermarkets, vending machines, and finally, your hands. It's mind-boggling to think about how much work goes into manufacturing a single Snickers bar. All over the globe, from the Mammoth Factory to retailers all over the globe, the Snickers bars go on an epic trip after they're packaged and ready. Snickers bars can be found in every part of the world, from local convenience stores to vending machines in schools, businesses, and airports, thanks to their extensive global distribution network. An impressive effort in and of itself is the logistics involved in distributing millions of Snickers bars. Coordination between ships, planes, and trucks ensures perishable goods arrive at their destination in peak condition. To guarantee that the bars arrive in pristine condition, they are kept in climate-controlled storage facilities. If you're in the US, EU, or Asia, and you unwrap a Snickers bar, know that it was treated with care the whole time. Snickers Significance to Mars, Inc. S product line is highlighted by its worldwide network. The manufacturing facilities of Mars Inc. have come a long way in recent years in terms of their commitment to ecological sustainability. This covers the process by which they acquire raw ingredients like as peanuts and cocoa beans. Using renewable energy sources and decreasing its carbon footprint are two of Mars's top priorities. One company that has committed to sourcing all of its cocoa from sustainable certified sources is Mars. In addition to helping the environment, this also guarantees that cocoa farmers are paid a fair salary and work in a safe atmosphere. They also push their peanut growers to use less water and pesticide by encouraging them to adopt eco-friendly techniques. There are a number of waste reduction strategies used by the mega plant. We take every measure to make sure that making your favorite candy bar is as eco-friendly as can be, from recycling packaging materials to employing machinery that uses less energy. You can't help but love every bite of a Snickers bar after witnessing the extraordinary procedure that goes into making one. 
Each layer is painstakingly made with love and attention to detail, from the generously sourced peanuts and gooey caramel to the tender nougat and rich milk chocolate. In order to keep up with demand all across the world, a mega factory runs around the clock to source ingredients, package them, and ship them out. Ferrero Rocher has perfected this experience for chocolate lovers around the globe, making it one of the most iconic and beloved confectionaries of all time. But have you ever wondered how millions of these delicious little spheres are produced with such impeccable consistency? What goes on behind the scenes to ensure that every Ferrero Rocher you unwrap offers the same irresistible taste and texture? In today's video, we'll take you on an exclusive journey into the world of Ferrero Rocher, uncovering the fascinating details of its large-scale production. From the selection of top-quality ingredients to the intricate packaging process, will reveal how cutting-edge technology, including artificial intelligence, Joy AI, helps maintain the brand's high standards while producing millions of chocolates daily. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're excited to learn about the secrets behind your favorite chocolates. Turn on notifications so you never miss another deep dive into the world of food production. First things first, before we get started on the production line, Let's talk about the ingredients that make Ferrero Rocher so magical. Hazelnuts, milk chocolate, sugar, cocoa butter, low-fat cocoa powder, cocoa mass, skim milk powder, butter oil, lecithin, which is used as an emulsifier, vanillin, an artificial vanilla flavoring, palm oil, wheat flour, whey, sodium bicarbonate, a leavening agent, and salt are the essential components that, when combined, create the luxurious layers that make up Ferrero Rocher. In particular, Ferrero is very careful when it comes to sourcing these ingredients, particularly the hazelnuts, which are an essential component of the flavor profile of the chocolate. Every single one of these hazelnuts is put through a stringent selection process, which guarantees that only the very best ones are included in the final product. The sourcing and selection process takes into account not only the flavor, but also the consistency of the color, texture, and quality across the millions of chocolates that are produced each day. The first thing that needs to be done in order to make a Ferrero Rocher is to make the delicate wafer ball that will eventually become the candy's crispy center. At this stage of the procedure, a batter is prepared by combining wheat flour, water, sugar, salt, and sodium bicarbonate, among other ingredients. There are times when yeast is added to the wafer in order to give it a lighter texture. However, this is not always required. The batter is deposited into hemispherical molds by automatized machines, and then the molds are transported via conveyor belts into gas ovens that are heated to high temperatures. Using these molds, the batter is baked into wafer shells that are crisp and crisp, and then the wafer shells are joined together to form perfect spherical balls. This is the point at which the magic of artificial intelligence starts to materialize. The baking process is monitored in real time by temperature sensors that are driven by artificial intelligence. This is done to ensure that each wafer ball has the same texture, crispiness, and shape. Artificial intelligence algorithms are constantly adjusting the temperature inside the oven, making minute adjustments as required. This level of precision guarantees that every wafer ball will continue to be of the same high quality, thereby removing the possibility of human error and maximizing the effectiveness of the production process. Immediately after the wafer balls have been formed, they are prepared to be filled with Nutella, which is Ferrero's well-known chocolate hazelnut spread. During a separate procedure, hazelnuts are roasted and ground into a paste. After that, they are mixed with sugar, cocoa, and milk to produce this well-like filling. Wafer balls are filled with this decadent hazelnut cream by means of filling machines that are fully automated. Of course, that is not all. A whole roasted hazelnut is inserted into each wafer ball in addition to the Nutella that is already present. Not only does this hazelnut contribute to the candy's crunch, but it also enhances the nutty flavor, which is what makes Ferrero Rocher so distinctive. When it comes to ensuring that each hazelnut satisfies Ferrero Rocher's stringent standards, artificial intelligence systems play a crucial role. 
During the process of moving along the conveyor belt, high-resolution computer vision systems examine each and every hazelnut to determine its size, shape, and color. If it is determined that a hazelnut is flawed in some way, such as being too small, misshapen, or discolored, then it is automatically thrown away. This process ensures that only the finest hazelnuts are used in the production of the chocolates, which in turn guarantees that each Ferrero Rocher is of the highest possible quality. The first chocolate coating is the next step in the production process that needs to be completed. As the wafer balls, which are now stuffed with hazelnuts and Nutella, make their way through a curtain of melted milk chocolate, they are served. The smooth texture of the chocolates is a result of this layer, which also serves as the foundation for the subsequent coatings. At this stage, it is absolutely necessary to keep the temperature and viscosity of the melted chocolate at the ideal level in order to guarantee that the chocolate is distributed evenly. This layer's thickness is also very important because it will serve as a foundation for the chopped hazelnut coating that will be applied in the following step. Immediately after the wafer balls have been covered with the first layer of milk chocolate, they proceed to the next step, which is the coating of chopped hazelnuts. This step is responsible for the distinctive crunch that Ferrero Rocher is known for. The wafer balls that are covered in chocolate and are still warm are rolled in hazelnuts that have been finely chopped. As the chocolates travel along the conveyor belt, the chopped hazelnuts are sprinkled on top of them by machines and machines that are automated. The remaining nuts are then brushed off which ensures that the coating is uniform. Again, artificial intelligence technology guarantees accuracy. The amount of hazelnut coating that is applied to each chocolate is measured by sensors, and automated systems make adjustments in real time to ensure that each chocolate has the ideal amount of nutty coating. After the layer of chopped hazelnuts has been carefully positioned, it is now time to apply the final layer of chocolate coating. Another layer of melted milk chocolate is applied to the wafer balls before they are dipped in it. All of the hazelnuts are protected by this layer, which also imparts a glossy and smooth finish to the chocolate. With after the chocolates have been completely assembled and coated, the next step is to wrap them in the distinctive gold foil that Ferrero Rocher uses to make their products instantly recognizable. High-speed machines wrap each individual chocolate in luxurious gold foil which serves both an aesthetic and protective purpose. And then they are arranged in a neat manner inside of clear plastic boxes, which are then prepared for distribution all over the world. Artificial intelligence technology guarantees that the wrapping process is as effective as it can possibly be. The wrapping machines are equipped with sensors that monitor their speed and alignment. These sensors then make automatic adjustments to ensure that there are no misalignments or packaging jams. This not only helps to speed up production, but it also guarantees that every Ferrero Rocher is beautifully wrapped and ready to be displayed by the end of the day. Before being distributed to retailers, each batch of chocolates produced by Ferrero Rocher is subjected to a stringent inspection process. This is because the company takes great pride in producing chocolates of a consistent and high quality taste. An advanced artificial intelligence system will perform a final inspection to look for any visual flaws, such as cracks in the chocolate coating, uneven distribution of hazelnuts, or imperfect wrapping. There is a significant amount of quality control that is carried out by machines. However, human taste testers also play an important role. In order to guarantee that the chocolates are up to the exacting flavor and texture standards set by Ferrero Rocher, these professionals meticulously examine each batch. The refined palates of these individuals are able to detect even the most minute variations in flavor, which guarantees that each and every Ferrero Rocher provides the same signature experience. Artificial intelligence, AI, and machine learning are essential components of this final inspection phase. Before the chocolates reach the packaging stage, advanced image recognition software scans each chocolate to identify any imperfections. Meanwhile, artificial intelligence algorithms analyze the data collected throughout the production process to identify any problems that may have occurred. Ferrero Rocher's iconic gold boxes are only filled with chocolates of the highest possible quality as a result of this two-pronged approach. The distribution network of Ferrero Rocher is nothing short of impressive, considering that the company produces millions of chocolates every single day. In order to ensure that Ferrero Rocher is accessible to chocolate lovers all over the world, the chocolates are packaged in boxes 
and then shipped to retailers in more than 140 countries. AI, however, is already playing a part in the optimization of the supply chain at this stage. The company is able to better forecast demand, manage inventory, and cut down on waste with the assistance of predictive analytics and machine learning algorithms. Because of this technology, Ferrero Rocher, chocolates are guaranteed to be readily available at all times, allowing the company to satisfy customer demand without either overproducing or understocking. Despite its current status as a global powerhouse, Ferrero Rocher was not always that way. Although it was first introduced in 1982, the brand quickly became well-known due to the exceptional combination of taste, texture, and luxurious presentation that it offered. From the very beginning, Ferrero Rocher stood out from other chocolates due to the meticulous attention to detail that it displayed. A symbol of indulgence and sophistication, the intricate layers, the quality of the ingredients in the golden wrapping all contributed to the creation of this masterpiece. Ferrero Rocher is a brand that has become synonymous with luxury and quality, and fans of chocolate all over the world adore this chocolate brand. The commitment of the brand to upholding its high standards while simultaneously embracing contemporary technologies such as artificial intelligence guarantees that Ferrero Rocher will continue to be a market leader in the chocolate industry for many years to come. Every day, millions of Ferrero Rocher chocolates are manufactured, which is a remarkable feat of modern technology, skilled craftsmanship, and meticulous attention to detail. Every step is meticulously designed to deliver a consistent and luxurious experience, from selecting the finest hazelnuts to wrapping each chocolate in its signature golden foil. This method ensures that the experience is consistent and luxurious. But have you ever wondered how those noodles packed with flavor are made in such huge quantities? Today, we're taking you behind the scenes into the fascinating world of instant noodle production, where millions of packets are churned out daily to satisfy cravings across the globe. From mixing the dough to sealing the final package, every step is a blend of precision, technology, and innovation. Hit that subscribe button and let's dive into the mesmerizing process of creating the noodles you love. Ready? Let's get started. The journey of instant noodles begins in an enormous warehouse brimming with raw ingredients. Wheat flour, water, salt, and a sp But what makes these elements so special? Let's break it down. Wheat flour is the soul of the noodles, providing structure and elasticity. It is carefully sourced from regions where the climate and soil are ideal for growing high quality wheat. Factory water, of course, is the universal hydrator, but even the water used in noodles is treated with care. Factories employ purification systems to ensure that the water is free from any contaminants, maintaining the pristine quality of the noodles. Salt, the simplest of ingredients, does more than just add flavor. The amount of salt added is carefully controlled to maintain the perfect flavor profile across every batch of noodles. And then there's kanu, the factory's best kept secret. This ingredient, whether it's an enzyme, a starch, or something else entirely, Work. It's the unsung hero of noodle production, and its exact composition is guarded closely by the manufacturers, creating a sense of mystery and allure around the product. Too thick, and the noodles become chewy and dense. Too thin, and they'll be too delicate to hold up during cooking. In noodles, for instance, ramen noodles are typically thicker than soba noodles, and udon noodles are even thicker still. This. Once the dough is sheeted to the perfect thickness, it's time for the slicing process. The dough moves along a conveyor belt and reaches a set of razor-sharp blades that slice it into strands. These blades are precisely calibrated to cut the noodles into their iconic wavy shape. The waves aren't just for aesthetics. They help the noodles cook evenly by increasing surface area, allowing water to penetrate more quickly. The slicing process happens in a flash, with hundreds of noodles being cut simultaneously. Each strand is exactly the same thickness and length, a feat of precision engineering that ensures consistency across millions of noodles. This uniformity is important not just for visual appeal, but also for cooking consistency. Imagine cooking noodles where some strands are too thick 
and others too thin, it would be a disaster. The noodles are now recognizable as the product we all know, but their journey is far from over. After the noodles are sliced, they're sent to the steaming station, a critical step in their transformation from raw dough to a convenient meal. Steaming is a delicate process where the noodles are exposed to just the right amount of ensuring that each portion is identical. Why is this important? Because when you buy a pack of noodles, you expect a certain quantity and consistency. This precision guarantees that every packet has the exact amount of noodles promised on the label, whether you're buying a single-serve cup or a family-sized block. Robotic arms handle the cutting process with millimeter-level accuracy, a testament to the wonders of modern food production technology. Once the noodles are cut into portions, the molded noodles are now ready for one of the most crucial steps in the production process, frying. Instant noodles owe much of their convenience to this step, as frying locks in the noodles' shape and gives them their long shelf life. The noodles are flash-fried in hot oil for a few minutes, which rapidly dehydrates them. This dehydration is key to their quick cooking ability. When you add boiling water at home, the noodles rehydrate almost instantly. The oil used in this process also adds flavor and helps preserve the noodles for months without spoiling. The frying process is carefully timed to ensure that the noodles are cooked just enough to maintain their structure, but not so much that they become greasy or lose their flavor. Once fried, the noodles are ready for the next step in their journey. After frying, the noodles are cooled quickly to prevent overcooking. Industrial cooling units use blasts of cold air to bring the temperature of the noodles down in a matter of seconds. The noodles cool, they are demolded and placed onto conveyor belts for the next stage of production. The timing here is critical. If the noodles aren't cooled properly, they could become soggy or oily, which would ruin their texture. The robots work tirelessly to get the noodles from the production line to the shelves in record time and they do it all with unmatched precision. Instant noodles wouldn't be the global sensation they are without their iconic flavor packets. Whether it's a rich, savory broth or a tangy sauce, the flavor is what turns a simple packet of noodles into a complete meal. At this stage, flavor packets containing seasoning, sauces, and sometimes dried vegetables are added to the noodle containers. Once the flavor packets are added, the noodles and their accompaniments are sealed inside their containers. This process involves placing lids on the cups or packets, which are then passed through specialized sealing machines. These machines use a combination of heat and pressure to create an airtight seal, ensuring that the noodles remain fresh until you're ready to enjoy them. Sealing is an essential step because it protects the noodles from air, moisture, and contaminants. Without a proper seal, the noodles could become stale or lose their flavor over time. Factories use state-of-the-art technology to ensure that each package is sealed perfectly, creating an airtight environment that preserves both taste and texture for months. This is fully automated, with robotic arms working swiftly to bundle and box hundreds of noodle packages every minute. The plastic wrapping serves as an extra layer of protection, keeping the noodles safe from moisture, while others employ robotic sensors that can detect even the slightest imperfections. In some cases, samples from each batch are cooked and taste tested to make sure the flavor is just right. Quality control is a vital step in the noodle making, colorful designs that draw customers in. From the bold fonts to the vibrant images of steaming bowls of noodles, the packaging is carefully crafted to trigger a craving before you even open the packet. In fact, there's a science behind the design of noodle packaging. Companies often conduct consumer research to identify which colors and images are most appealing. Red and yellow, for example, are common on noodle packaging because they are known to stimulate appetite. The goal is to make the product irresistible, even in boxed, they're ready to be shipped out to stores around the world. The logistics behind this are impressive. Factories rely on highly efficient systems to ensure that the noodles reach their destinations quickly and in perfect condition. Distribute countries and even continents, all while maintaining optimal storage conditions. The noodles are carefully monitored to ensure they remain fresh and safe to eat throughout the journey. From the moment the noodles leave the factory to the moment they arrive on store shelves, every step is meticulously coordinated. This seamless distribution system is one of the reasons why instant noodles are available in so many countries and why they can be delivered so quickly after production. These tests are the final line of defense.
ensuring that every bite is as delicious as the last. For noodle brands, reputation is everything, and these final checks help maintain their standing as a reliable and beloved food option worldwide. In today's world, sustainability is more important than ever, and noodle manufacturers are no exception. Many factories have implemented eco-friendly practices to reduce their environmental footprint. This includes using energy-efficient machines, recycling water, and finding ways to reduce packaging waste. For instance, some factories have switched to biodegradable or recyclable packaging materials allowing consumers to enjoy their noodles without contributing to the growing problem of plastic waste. Water-saving technologies have also been implemented in many factories, cutting down on the amount of water used during production. Additionally, factories are working to reduce their energy consumption by investing in solar panels, wind turbines, and other renewable energy sources. These efforts not only help the environment, but also reduce production costs, which can lead to lower prices for consumers. At the heart of the noodle production process is the machinery. From the industrial mixers that blend the dough to the robotic arms that pack the finished product, every machine is designed for maximum efficiency and precision. These machines are marvels of modern engineering, capable of producing thousands of noodles every minute with perfect consistency. Factories employ teams of engineers and technicians to maintain and optimize these machines, ensuring that they run smoothly day in and day out. These experts monitor the production lines, making adjustments as needed to keep everything running at peak performance. The machines are not only fast, but also incredibly precise. For example, the rollers used to sheet the dough can be adjusted to within a fraction of a millimeter, ensuring that every noodle is the same thickness. The cutting blades are equally precise, slicing through the dough with laser-like accuracy. Without these machines, it would be impossible to produce noodles on such a massive scale. They are the unsung heroes of the noodle industry, working behind the scenes to bring millions of servings of noodles to hungry consumers around the world. Instant noodles have become a global phenomenon, enjoyed by people from all walks of life, from college students looking for a quick, affordable meal to foodies experimenting with gourmet ramen recipes. Instant noodles have a universal appeal. It's the perfect combination of technological prowess, human creativity, and the desire to make a product that will delight countless people. If you like this in-depth look at the Snickers production process, we hope you'll consider subscribing to our channel. We are incredibly appreciative of your subscription since it enables us to keep making entertaining and educational movies. Please let us know what you think of this video and any ideas for future episodes by leaving a comment. Your comments are extremely appreciated and we use them to refine our videos going forward. Your company on this delightful tour of the Snickers Giant Plant is much appreciated. You will appreciate the effort and attention that went into making that tasty bar even more the next time you eat it.